We give a lot of attention to the outside forces that shape a business, like its location, regional culture, market demands, and all of that does matter. But the factors that work on the inside are just as vital. Every organization has an identity, not something invented or made up out of thin air, but a genuine self that distinguishes it from other organizations. Your identity is unique. And whether or not you know it yet, it makes you remarkable. So how do you find it? We call the first step finding your frequency. Ideally, a process like this would start with a brand workshop and you'd work with a, an experienced brand consultant to help uncover and discover your underlying purpose and values as an organization. Because no two organizations are exactly alike, it's impossible to create a step-by-step -step guide in a book that works for everybody. Still, I'll give you an overview of the first two steps to discovering and unlocking your authentic brand identity. Step one is to discover your why. Understanding your organization's brand starts with why. Why does it exist? This isn't the same as asking, what's your organization's values or even what's its character and personality? The why captures all of that and a different why creates a different organization. Organizations exist to serve people, but they're also composed of people and those people act intentionally and care about the purposefulness or purposelessness of what they're doing. The moment that sense of purpose is gone, the organization disappears. We can easily imagine the power of an underlying purpose by imagining a bank, which exists to make money, and an amateur hockey league, which exists for fun, recreation, and that occasional bout with the gloves off. If an amateur hockey league started holding money for people, it would be a bank. And if a bank got out of the money business and instead its employees spent all day skating on the ice and scoring goals, it wouldn't be a bank anymore. Large or small, every organization serves some end. And if that end changes, so does the organization. The real why may be deeper than any individual in the organization actually understands. It may not be something that anybody has ever said out loud before. What is the one thing that, if it were taken away, would mean your organization would no longer have a reason to exist? Ask why, and then keep asking. Maybe your company's why is to sell cars. Great, but why sell cars? Don't say, to make money, because there are a lot of ways to make money aside from selling cars, so why sell cars? Maybe it's because you want people to drive cars that are faster, safer, and smoother. You want their daily commute to be the best part of their day. Well, that's, that's better. But now, why do you want that? Maybe it's because you believe that life is short, that all of the time in life matters, and that the hour somebody spends driving matters as much as the hour they spend when they arrive. Put another way, you care about the in-between times. You exist to make people's in-between times more enjoyable and less stressful. Find your why and keep asking why until you reach rock bottom. What is it that you really believe? What is it that you really want to bring about in this world? Why do you exist? Start with that. And then step two. Step two is letting your why determine your purpose. A shared sense of purpose is what brings a group through difficulty. Suppose that you're a basketball team and it's the middle of January. The season is halfway over. You've won some games and you've lost some. Everyone's tired and your best players are all injured. What keeps you together as a team? There might be individual motives, but those individual motives aren't really enough. What really keeps the group together is that they share a desire to win and in a very specific sense. Whether they're an Olympic athletes, athletes breaking new ground for their country, or a long-suffering baseball team looking to end a generation-long losing streak, every team has its own story and its definition of what it is to win that year. Like sports teams, organizations, and B2B or businesses are held together by a specific purpose. And this purpose is the difference you are trying to achieve in the world. It's not just a problem that you're trying to solve, something at the level of your products and services. Instead, your purpose is meant to be the solution to a bigger problem, the one that first brought you to your why. 
when you drill down to why, your purpose gets clearer. And while you're doing the hard work of letting the why lead you to your purpose, it's helpful to remember a few things. First, remember that a group can have a purpose without fulfilling it. All of us have been to that meeting that feels useless. The one where nothing is accomplished and no one knows why it happened. But on some level, the group of people share a purpose. Otherwise, they wouldn't feel the need to meet with one another. Meetings may not be the best means to their end. Either the group shares some end or the group will come to an end. So remember that your job in figuring out your company's purpose may be to articulate something that has gone ignored or forgotten for years. Maybe it's your job to define the why and follow that purpose to a long overdue action. Second, note that the purpose and the effect of an organization are not the same thing. A corporation's effect on the world might be negative or meaningless, but when people work together in groups, what keeps them together is that they're aiming at some shared purpose, something they intend to fulfill even if they fail to, and which they rightly or wrongly believe is a good thing even if they miss the target that they're aiming for. When you're trying to determine your company's purpose, don't look for where the arrows have fallen in the past. Look at where the archers were trying to reach to. Here's another way. Don't confuse a purpose with goals. Often it's easiest to see what's closest to us. Whether that's the next quarter or the next year, goals are things like make our sales quota or grow by 20%. Goals are good but they aren't enough down the line to be your purpose. Think further ahead and ask, where do you ultimately want things to go? Something beyond growth and sales is out there, something you probably really deeply care about. Look for that thing. And if you need some help while you're looking, let us know, we'd love to. Whether you know your purpose inside and out, or whether you're thinking it's time to just take a deep breath and ask why, we're really eager to meet you right where you are. Part of our why is believing that the world needs organizations like yours to discover how remarkable they are and share themselves with a thoughtful, true, and winsome brand expression. If you wanna find out more, check out the rest of our website at resoundcreative.com. We have lots of free resources, insights, tools, videos, a whole host of other content. We even have a course and an upcoming book. We wanna help you. So let us help you find out more about us and we'd love to find out more about you. And don't forget, you are remarkable.